ladies welcome back to another video how are you doing hope you all are doing amazingly great as always let's tell almighty god thank you for another bright beautiful and glorious day so lovely today we are making an effective powerful air growth butter to enable you to grow your dream air extremely faster so the first and the main ingredient will be my beetroot so the first thing you have to do make sure you wash and disinfect your beetroot the right now i'm just taking away the skin of my beach root so lovely now let's talk about the amazing benefit of beetroot which help our hair to grow extremely faster beetroot helps in blood circulation we promote thicker and healthy hair growth nourishes our hair if you are having split end breakage if your hair is so slow it's not growing guys beetroot is extremely amazing for that if you want a thicker hair guys i urge you all try apply this butter into your hair so right now i finished washing and peeling my beetroot let's jump into the next phase so now i will need my blender i urge you all try put on your glove if you are treating your beetroot because it tends to change the color of your skin though it goes away but i don't like it to stuck on my finger for too long so what i will do now i will need part of my beetroot not everything over here i have close to 50 grams of my beach root depending on the amount of butter you want to make so right now i'm going to cut my beach root into a mini dice form that i will throw into my blender for easy blending so love it guys this butter i've been applied on my hair for the past one month and i'm just so excited about my hair result oh my gosh it's amazing when it comes to volume oh my word is extremely loaded so right now i will go in with 50 ml of my sunflower oil when it comes to the oil any one of your choice just add you are good to go then over here i have my coconut oil i will need 25 ml of my coconut oil in total i use 100 ml of my oils so over here i have my extra virgin olive oil i will need 25 ml of my extra virgin olive oil so now when it comes to the oil you can add only one part particular oil or multiple oil the one you know you love your hair love you are good to go but in total i added 100 ml of all my oils so right now i'm going to cover it up we are going to blend into a smooth consistency make sure if you are blending your beetroot you blend really really well allow the oil to absorb into the beetroot to and to penetrate into the root and extract all the nutrients from the beet root and blend into a smooth paste so after i finish blending look at what we are going to work with no guys i love this butter oh my gosh my hair feels so thicker feel more voluminous my no more split and my hair feel less dry and brittle that's the part of this beetroot so right now i will go in with my palm i'm going to transfer my beetroot into my palm like so because we are going to fry on a very low flame so there's one thing i want you all to know is that you must not use a high flame or over process your beetroot because you don't want to kill the nutrients so right now we're going to cook on a very very low flame for 30 minutes not more than 30 minutes guys i will explain to you further more because if you want to get all the nutrients for the beetroot into your butter into your air and your scalp then you must make sure you do not over process it don't allow it to get burnt and make sure you stir like so as you are cooking look at the beautiful color guys i love beetroot a lot i drink beetroot on a weekly basis yes so if you want to grow healthy air try incorporate more of beetroot drink into your healthy routine is extremely important for your blood exactly so right now after i fry for 30 minutes i highlight to cool off for another 15 minutes so in total 45 minutes look at how it's looking so now i will go in with my bowl i saw that i will need my cheese cloth you can use your filter or you can use your 
your t-shirt or your stock but anything you are using make so make sure it's dry and it's not dirty because you don't, don't, don't contaminate this butter so right now i will just transfer my beetroot into my cheese cloth like so and when you are straining guys you have to strain also the beetroot juice let me make it clearer now i'm going to press i will press both the oil and both the juice of my beetroot like so because we need everything inside our butter yes so you don't you must not over process yours after i strain here is the amount i got so now we are going to do the double heat boiling method please love this now don't use a direct heat when doing this step it's extremely important i will put my bowl like so on top of my palm of water then now i will go in with my butter face you can add any butter of your choice you are good to go i will need 30 grams of my shea butter i will need 20 grams of my cow cow butter you can add any butter your hair love you are good to go lovelies yes anyone can go the right now i'll go in with my palm butter this butter out here keep my butter so fluffy and super duper moisturized then now i will go in with my emulsifying wasp if you want to bind your water and your beetroot juice together and lock that with the oil, then you need emulsifying wax. Then I will need my bee wax as well. You can use any wax of your choice, like the white one or the yellow one, you are good to go. So right now, I will allow it to melt up for some minutes. I will just stir like so. Then after I stir, I will now add 100 ml of my beetroot oil, the one I strained earlier on. I will Will transfer into my butter like so as you can see me doing so don't be scared if it's going to stain your clothes no it will not stain you at all at all so right now i'm going to mix everything together i will allow the water from the flame to melt all the butter and the water together because we want everything to burn together really really well so after i mix for some minutes look at how it's looking everything has melt completely so what i will do i will take it down allow it to cool for another 10 minutes don't allow it to cool completely because we still have to process some things in there so I after 10 minutes now we will now jump into the next phase i will need one tablespoon of my castor oil castor oil epitikis dark it and moisturize the air for healthy and faster air growth then i will need my glycerin oil for extra and more moisturization if that just mixes then now i will need my tea tree essential oil i'm going to add 10 drops of my tea tree essential oils you can add any one of your choice you are good to go then right now i'm going to mix everything together allow all the oil to burn together really really well so after i mix i will now go in with my fall paper or my kitchen wrap i'm going to cut it up like so because we are going to put inside the fridge for up to 30 minutes so lovely mind you all don't allow it to solidify completely you just allow it to solidify a little bit so lovely after 30 minutes look at how our butter is looking under there we still have the beetroot juice this is what we are going for don't allow it to strong to solidify completely no so now i'll go in with the lowest part of my hand misa because we are going to whoop everything together so right now i'm going to whoop whip whoops <laughs> really really well as you can see me doing so when it comes to the consistency as you are whooping observe your butter when it got to the, to the point that you know that everything has burned together so you can stop me i want a more fluffy consistency so i will whoop until i get a perfect consistency so after i look for some minutes look at how it's looking i will not scoop the the ones that are inside the machine as like so they look at how my butter is looking this one out here is not complete so lastly we are going to preserve this butter please love this you have to preserve your butter if you want it to last you up to six months or to one year because we have fresh beetroot juice in there okay okay so after adding my preservative i'm going to whoop really really well for the second time make sure you take your time to whoop everything together really really well because you want to get a beautiful 
and fluffy consistency so right now i'm just whoop 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 <laughs> at the same time i especially want to appreciate you all for your amazing love for your love your support for liking for sharing god bless you i'm super duper grateful and if you are new here welcome my name is jenny i'm into air growth this like this one you are watching right now glance through my channel on my page if you love what you see please give me a fat twist thumbs up like share subscribe is free of charge so after i whoop for the second time look at how fluffy our butter is looking and it's smells so great so now i will go in with my clean and dry sterilized jar even though you preserve this butter you still want to store it in a clean and sterilized jar because if you preserve your butter and your jar is dirty it will go bad like immediately so lovelies here is our beautiful gorgeous diy air growth beetroot butter apply three times weekly on your air for effective result i love it is so soothing to your scalp soothing to your hair oh my gosh i love this butter a lot please you all have to try it is extremely important it's so good so how can you apply this butter into your hair it can be used as a pre-pull hot oil treatment moisturizer for your twist art your braid art for all hair types both kids and adults Air. so lovely today is my styling day and your girl is feeling herself yes i'm feeling my vibe all times so it's a beauty for sending me this beautiful lovely bonnet so lovely today i want to style my hair because tomorrow i'm going out so i'll be rocking my hair like so in this twist i put my hair in this twist with this butter okay this after five days so i still want to style my hair now so i love to stretch my hair in a twist before i style my hair so right now i will dab my hair with water all you have to do just spray your hair with water and you are good to go to apply this butter you can also add your leave-in conditioner any one of your choice but me i love to add water because water we can never go wrong so here is my butter i have applied on my hair and my skin and my kids hair guy it has been an amazing experience with this butter oh my goodness it's so good <laughs> it's so amazing lovelies yes i will take some amount that into my hand i will just put into every part of my hair make sure if you are moisturizing your hair with this butter allow every strand of your hair to benefit from it if you are having breakage you're having shedding if you're having split end if you're having dry and brittle hair if you're having scalp issue like irritation if you're having like dandruff lies what have you the butter out here will help you soothe your scalp nourishes your hair strengthening your hair and also thickens your hair for healthy hair growth if you are aiming to get a darker hair guys this one out here is for you as well so after i added my butter i will now unravel my twist because i'm putting my hair in a beautiful cornrow today yes i love to rock my hair in some good cornrow so i'll just take down the twist one after the other like so so after i took down my twist here is how my hair is looking guys after five days of applying this butter to my hair and my hair feels so healthy my hair feels so thick and more dark oh my word guys so here is how my hair is looking so i would not i would not unravel the whole of the twist because i want to put my hair in coral so i will take down the whole of my hair i will comb my hair i will just part my hair take my hair step by step you can put your hair in a mini twist in a mini braid in a cornrow in a twist out in a braid out any way at all you can style your hair with this butter you are good to go so i'll just dab my hair with some water the right now i'll put in extra butter if you are having a lot of split and just try add this butter into the tip of your hair really really well and massage the butter into your hair into every strand of your hair so right now i don't do some good detangling with my brush i will just conroll 
that way that part out of the way like so it's so simple any eye you choose to use this butter you are good to go guys yes to put your hair in a beautiful long lasting braid you are good to go you can apply as many times as possible and guys don't be scared if the beach will stain your clothes or your skin no not at all you will not see like you will not even see the color on your skin but you but, but you will feel the healthiness in your hair if i'm making any sense right now i just twist see that place out of the way then i will not go into the rest part of my hair i will take extra butter like so that will just dab into that section as well then your hair is going to braid it's just so simple to make and guys it feels so so good if you are aiming to get your dream air your life air growth butter this one out here is so much advisable to try it's extremely good guy it will thicken your air do you want a grow to, to grow your air thicker longer fuller darker healthier guys they have to try this butter it's extremely amazing so right now i will just braid that citra out of the way as you can see me doing So lovelies, right now I'm done with the oil of my hair. Look at how beautiful my cornrow is looking. My hair looks so shiny and so gorgeous. So now I'll put in extra butter into my hair to keep every part of my hair well secure and well moisturized. So lovelies, hope you all find this video useful, informative, and also exciting. So thank you all for watching. God bless you. Until I will see you in the next one. If you like the play, give me a fat to strong sub like follow share is free of charge bye bye ciao ciao Mwah.